let's be a little strategical in terms of how society works. Not just government or things of that nature, but society in general. If you and um, six other friends were to be trapped in an island, your castaways, your ship crashed, how would you establish some laws to make ends meet? In case any intermediaries between these people would happen, in case any disputes would come along while trying to make these ends meet. Well, you would you try and write a writ of law, and with that writ of law, you would make other people comply to this writ of law. And of course, since it's just a writ of law and um, it has no physical or tangible powers establish a hierarchy to assist you with working with this writ of law and making it reified and useful for governing people or would you apply a method that anarchist societies would actually use or at least theoretically they could use where there isn't a hierarchy and there isn't a writ of law, but rather there's an arbiter, a trusted person out of these people who would decide on these decisions. And then there could be different arbiters, it could be different per situation, and they would settle these disputes. And over time, these disputes that are being settled would uh, sugar over in, or crust into laws because you could tell that these decisions have practicality that after many testings that they would be enforceable and end the dispute which is the ultimate purpose of law wouldn't that make more sense and of course the strategical method might seem questionable since it's being applied to a very small scale but if you think about it, isn't society, if it's not hierarchical, going to be just a lot of nexuses of various small non-hierarchical groups, what, no matter which type of anarchism you support? It definitely seems to be that way, and it's also the most practical. Whereas large clusters like cities would probably end up being minarchist in an age of anti-statism.